All right, it's me again, uh, Mr. Midshipman. And see, this is how I mixed it in a soup can. These are plastic cups; they're just as good. But you know, if you like soup, these are good too. You just gotta make sure you have all the contaminants and water out, dried up before you use them. And first, we're gonna mix it with the paint stick. This is Systems Three Epoxy, which means two parts resin and one parts hardener. It's also that's the brand name, Systems Three. So we mix it like that, pretty good, forty times, forty strokes, right, ladies? Yeah, if you listen to my neighbors, and, and trust me. I'm not related to those people either. No way, shape, or form, and if you can't see that, then obviously. Now, this is your glue, they call it. Silica. You can usually put that in until you hold it like this, and it's got some stability, and it won't flow. See how it's flowing? You don't want it to flow, then you add this stuff. But you know what? I, I want it to flow, but by experience I also don't want it to flow you know I mean I want it to flow but I don't I just want it a little bit thicker so I put that in and mix that up pretty good see but like if you're putting this on the side of a boat you know say vertical completely vertical or even upside down on the ceiling then you want to add lots more glue so it doesn't run like it's still in there. That's giving me just the right amount of running that I want. Because if I show you what I'm doing, you'll understand. Mix that up. Now we're using this 16th milled glass because we never used it before. But you don't want to be in the direction of the wind of this stuff, even with a mask on. It's just. I don't know if you'd see this stuff in the sun, it shines just like cut glass and then you get that stuff on you. It irritates your skin and pretty soon you're getting all these boils all over your body. Like you got some kind of scurvy, you know. But this stuff here, the stuff from Fibercast, actually comes in comes out pretty clear. See how much we put in? You can put it in by our hands because we got these gloves on. And also, you can take this stuff to school and stick it on people. The itching powder. Yeah, it's really good itching powder. I bet. See, that stuff even makes it stop running, see? So, you got to know what you're doing. And that's the purpose of watching this video. You can watch me mix it, and then you'll get the idea. We got it like a maple syrup now, see? So, we're going to stick some more of this in, because I don't think you can really have too much milk fiber. You'll know when you have too much. It's way too much. And I'm sorry that I have an accent, and I don't speak perfectly plain English. But, you know like you do, real queer, I mean clear, yeah, so there you go, that's about what we want, now we're going to whip it like butter, you see this stuff here, this brand MAS, when it comes, when you buy this stuff and mix the milled fiber, it actually is black like uh, JB Well, it's this stuff, pretty clear when it hardens. This is the uh, Fibergast brand. They're a pretty popular company. They got a put a little bit more in there. They got a pretty big company, so they know their stuff. Now I just wanted the 16th milled glass because it's got to be stronger than the smaller milled glass, right? And also, I wanted to show you, because you can see this is 16th mil glass. See how I clean it all off? You can see that this it says 16th mil glass on there, right there. You'll see it does fare pretty good. So these are the knives I use. I use a real steel one. 
that I will clean off like this on the board first, not on the steel, but on a board and a rag first. Then I use these from Harbor Freight putty knives. You can get a whole set of them for like 99 cents. And this is the size I use. They're a lot stiffer than those yellow things. Get a better job, you know. You'll see those yellow squeegee things. They're crap. Yeah, they, they don't even really come from the factory flat, you know. They're, you know, like everything else made there that's set for export to our country. They're, they don't like you, you know. Yeah, see, so the reason why I don't worry about this, I'm sitting on my butt now right here. Very nice and comfy, working in the yard, in the sun. September, really nice. We don't worry about it running because we want it to run. Run down in them cracks, right? We want to use the power of gravity. See? That's why we didn't put so much glue in. That's why you mix it to you, what you need. See, like right here, you can't see that, but it's not completely flat. See that? That moves still. We didn't build that up enough underneath. So, don't worry about it. I say don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I grunted because I moved a little. So now this is the big one in the middle here. Boy was this bad. That's what really got me started. I just couldn't put this pop top on with that big hole there. And you know what people in America weigh. You know, as soon as they get on your boat, they have it all ruined. So, see how well that's going in. And lucky for me, I only mixed just enough. Still mix too much. See how well I do that with the side and everything. And that's about it. Now we're done with that. We take this putty knife and clean it off with our fingers because we got these super cool surgeon gloves on. It's what they are really. You see that makes it perfect. Like I said, this 16th mil fiber really takes some finesse to get it to build right. So there, well, that's good enough for me. See how I built this section up where it's wider? We got it pretty deep there. Back here, filled in these crack marks, see, from the saw. We won't fill in nothing like this up here. This back part here, that did probably going to have to use just regular uh, gel coat, see? We'll just put that right in there. Beautiful. And by not stiffing it all up like fairing compound, see how it self-leveled itself? It self-leveled. Filled in all the divots, it leveled itself. I mean, what could be smarter than that, huh? That's very smartly, my friend. And I'll show you what I mean. It's all over like that. See this? All self-leveled. That self-leveled. Well, all self-leveled out. Because that's what you want. Perfect job. Makes less work. Now I'll just get my duck's ass sander out. And you know what? Harbor Freight makes one of those. But I don't think it's a DA. They make a palm sander with a vacuum cleaner attachment on the end. 35 bucks. And the one guy said, this is as good as my freaking $600 Ingersoll ran. But anyway, I want to show you we're not done yet. We've got the fill in all these screw holes. See these uh, holes right here? 
like this one right here this one here see that we got to fill all these because that's for the track for the hatch on the companion way so we want to fill all those in because you know what they they don't line up anyway to where you want them and they're not perfect to the old holes and you fill them in with this milled fiber and it's stronger than the original boat yep so we're going to fill all those back in drill them out to the next size bigger countersink them and fill them in yep and we got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty holes to fill in there I should have got this at sunrise but you can see the humidity on the glass hopefully and yeah I'm working on this window refinishing it it had molding on it so I'm tearing the molding off because uh, you know windows without molding are much more desirable today than with that big flashy molding and stuff.